Finally, I have you, my precious ones. Mind the gap. Welcome aboard, commuters. So, after months of waiting, it's finally back in stock, and I have bought myself not one, but five Citadel painting handles. Now, there has been uh, various reviews gone out on these, um, and I've watched just about every single one. Um, so this was an informed decision to buy this, but I thought that I would share with you my thoughts. Um, A, because you might actually be interested in my opinions. And secondly, you may not have seen anything on the, uh, the painting handle. So, one of the things I was aware of before I even bought this was it's a little bit small, but quite manageable. And the first thing that shocked me when it arrived it really is small um if you look at well, i've got here two two games workshop paints it's about the same height as um as two pots of paint um but obviously i've not opened the box yet so i don't know how manageable it is now one of my greatest fears is when i, I every time i buy a package you get a massive great big box and the, the item inside only fits about half of it and it's the same even with um, Games Workshop. I mean, obviously, th their boxes are padded out with um, sprues and things. But you get a big old box and you end up with a model this big. So, let's have a look. Um, now, it claims to do 25mm bases and 40mm bases. 32mm bases. And there's the opening. And, um, yeah, it's just basically... Um, doesn't really need instructions. It's a painting handle and there's all various bits. This is not a toy Caution risk of injury if misused uh, May pinch skin blah -de blah 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 right so basically if you don't use it like a sensible person you could get hurt so um, Let's have a look at it now the first thing that strikes me. Yes, it is small, but actually it's really nice um, I Right, here's my cup of tea, cup of coffee, and you can obviously forget the content, but you can see, I'm trying to do this without spilling my coffee, but you can see the way I'm holding my mug, that's my natural way of holding it. The way I'm holding this, this is pretty much the same way as I'm holding a mug of tea or mug of coffee. The only issue I have is my little finger is has nowhere to go it's a little bit feeling left out it's not a problem I'll just tuck it in there and then that will probably actually add support so in actual fact this is for my hand this is probably the best design ever um, but it's just something I've got to get used to you know the first time we wrote with pens we found it difficult the first time we painted with brushes we found it difficult um, it's just a case of getting used to it so let's have a look at it now that's basically all it is it's two parts you see inside there um they're springs they're not they look like magnets or they look like bits of metal but they're it's actually a spring and the basic principle is you pop your base you pop, pop your miniature in the top you pull it open you gently let it go and that will grip that now the amount of grip is actually quite amazing um, and I think I know why I understand the science which I'll go through later on because there's a reason I'm leaving it till later um, but um, I can abuse this because I've not actually painted it now I did see a video about because this handle comes undone people were talking about mounting it on tripods and things and the video that I saw where they were mounting it um, it didn't actually mount now I've played with these and what I found is There must be different size holes because this is exactly the same size hole as my webcam Now I use a Logitech C920 and C930 webcams and I use a Nikon camera and I'll show you actually it fits perfectly look Ta -da -da. so 
you can actually mount I don't really understand why you would but you can actually mount this anywhere that you can mount a camera so maybe you I don't know maybe you want to do um, an aerial shot that actually you could that could be the case do an aerial shot so maybe you want to mount this on a tripod and mount your camera on another tripod um, and uh, take some kind of shot that way um, however this is a painting handle I'm going to be using it for painting um, and um, let's have a look at it so as I said before this I believe is a 25 mil base from Shadespire and all you literally do you just open it and pop it in and that hold is very good you'll see that there's two lips there's a lower and an upper and I think there's a little bit of science behind that if you were to let's have a look at this one this is one I put a 40 mil base in and this is probably about as, as far as it will go now the white the, the further you pull this the more pressure it's going to put on those springs now if I pop this in and like I say this is about as, as wide as it will go those springs are kind of developing for want of a better expression a memory those springs are getting used to being pulled apart if say I leave this in six months time I take and I take this out and then I pop this this one in it just won't hold because there'll be no actual hold um, at, at closed it'll hold it further apart but it won't hold it um, when it's when it's almost closed and in fact actually no they're not too bad but this one actually feels looser I've had this base in here for about about half an hour while I've um, um, well I've been preparing the camera and the video and the software and already to be honest no actually it's all right I thought it felt a little bit looser so by having these two little lips the higher lip will enable you to put a larger base in um, but it just kind of acts just to protect the spring a little bit so try and use um, the upper spring when you can because that will put less pressure but obviously for a 20 mil base it's not going to happen um, so there you go that's that's the 40 mil but and I would suggest that's you're not going to get anything much bigger in there you might get a couple of extra mils in there but that's fine um, this obviously is a 25 mil which they don't go much lower um, now this I've got here I was kind of wondering what you could put in and I've seen demos on this and this is the oddest base I can find which is a Space Marines bike and this is actually it's got a flat edge and obviously you're not going to be able to put it in across because we can't stretch it that far but the hold on this I mean it's not quite as good because it's it can slide sideways but can you can you see the force if you look at my finger you can see the force that I've had to uh, apply to get that to move so I've definitely had to move it it's not it's not moving easily yeah you can see from my fingertips where I've pushed it so it's 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 not tap 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 and it falls out um, now balance I think these are rather well balanced because they're higher obviously the center of gravity is a little bit higher and they are going to be easier to knock over than say uh, a paint pot however because of the shape of them if you imagine my hand there is a cross section of the ground and there's there's your handle as you knock it over let me just move my hand down as it goes over you can see that model isn't making contact with the ground and it doesn't tend to, to go that way um, because it, it's, it's quite a heavy by by comparison to the rest of the handle that the weight in the bottom is quite heavy so every time you knock a model over it's going straight over bang it's that that end isn't going to bounce up again 
which means that your your model is reasonably well protected if you should accidentally knock it over obviously the answer is don't knock it over and if you've got a model that's going to spray out of the base um so maybe he's got a maybe he's, he's holding a lance or something which is sticking out if you then knock it over it is probably going to break however for your average model there's a reasonable amount of protection on this um now then you get people like myself. I don't normally like to stick my um, models to the base. I like to get started on the model. I like to pin them with uh, a paper clip. And then I like to stick them into a cork. Once, uh, once I've sort of done a little bit on the model, I might do the base. <laughs> and once I've finished the guy's feet or his paws or, or whatever, and I've done the base, then I might start looking at putting him onto the base. But initially, I will start with corks. Um, however, I saw a wonderful little tip. Um, I had a piece of cork earlier on. Cork, cork, cork. Right. So, obviously, I mean, you can probably see what's coming. Um, it really doesn't hold a piece of cork very well. The cork, the cork is too soft. And it's it's just not going to hold very well i did flick that fairly hard i'll admit um but that reasonable amount of force and that's come flying out there is a way around it and i think i believe this is courtesy from wargamer online and if it wasn't wargamer online then they've got themselves a free plug um if you were to get a glue gun and get yourself a 30 mil base or 40 mil I can't remember which one it is I think it's a 30 mil base yes yeah, a 30 mil base and just glue gun the cork uh, obviously you're going to pick the cork size that fits uh, so the base size that fits the cork and now you're in a position where the paint hole the, 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 the handle is holding the base and not the cork and there you go now you got yourself a, a, a nice sturdy base however it does remember it does raise the center of gravity because it's taller um, there's a little bit of science um, you, you obviously depending on the weight I, I would say just the handle on its own the center of gravity is going to be around about there um, because of the cork raising raising the overall height it's probably going to bring the center of gravity up to about there and once your center of gravity is higher than, than halfway of the handle it's obviously going to make it a lot you can see there um, let, me, let, me, let me let me let's do a little test shall we so here we've got cork and we've got a so we'll just push these gently and well there's not a lot in it but yeah I'm trying to get all sciencey when I'm not a scientist so you might have to ignore me um, but obviously like you know you do you do one plus you're gonna to have to have a negative that goes with it um, now there is one issue I find um, if you look at these models um, GW they have these nice slanted bases they're not an exact square cut they, they go in at an angle of what 30 degree angle and it's this is obviously designed for games workshop models so it is designed with a little lip and that's why do you know what it's me trying to demonstrate you can't pull it out and I'm able to pull it out so with reasonable force you can't get that out now one of the other things on my project bench at the moment is uh, Star Wars Imperial Assault and as you can see the bases they're cut straight straight down um, so the Citadel handle can't excuse the pun I'm sorry I can't think of a better word but the handle can't handle it so well and you see there just with a minimal amount of force um, that will come out so bear that in mind when you're doing other other companies models um, there is a way around it um, you can um, always blue tack it to a GW base um, so that will go on like that and then that will obviously increase the hold um, or you can do what I do which is stick a bit, bit of um, paper clip through it and stick it into the cork um, 
so there you have it guys um i think we have a most wonderful product here um and i just i want to talk about the price as well i i think the price is unbelievable um games workshop because of the nature of their products naturally attracts the younger crowd so we we talk a lot about pocket money prices now i'm in my 40s i've not had pocket money for an awful long time um when i was young well older young sort of in my early teens my pocket money was around about five pound a week until i started to do a paper round and in all fairness five pounds was an awful lot of money um now i don't know what pocket money is these days 20 quid 10 quid i don't know so you know when people talk about a 30 pound set of skeletons or something um or even i've just bought some blood letters last week 18 pounds now that's referred to as a pocket money um model i don't think it is i think that's just pushing the upper upper bands and it's certainly not the sort of thing that you could afford to say to your kids or if you're well behaved this week i'll buy you a set of blood letters um but this this truly is a pocket money toy a pocket pocket money product sorry i won't use the word toy because it isn't a toy um this is something that i suspect the kids could pick up from out of their pocket money and still have money left over for sweets and chips or whatever the kids buy cigarettes and white lightning um so you you can have the best of both worlds so i really can't fault this at all um i'd love to give it a 10 out of 10 rating but i don't do 10 out of 10 um i mean let's face it if you go back 10 years who'd have thought this would ever be a better shape for a paint handle and here we have something that's it's actually really simple it's there's nothing complex there's no there is you can see the science in it you can see the shape of the handle that helps to keep it upright you can see the mechanism has a bit of science behind it um but to be honest with you this is all the sort of science that we learn in middle school um i don't know how middle school translates to other countries um but when i say middle school i'm talking eight to twelve years old um this is all triangles and curves and shapes it's such a simple product guys um you can see that it's quite easily mass produced um, and that's probably why the cost is so low um so i can't give that any less than nine out of ten um there might be other products out there that are more comfortable for you um but come on guys five pound and now i haven't got to touch my my models when i paint them that's fantastic um so thanks for watching um what have i got planned for next week um probably something boring um but um who knows um it might become interesting by time by next week okay guys take care and um you you have fun